So the next thing we want to do in our house is go ahead and add some curtain walls. Now I've got my 3D view on the right here so I can see how it's going as I'm modeling my curtain wall. And I'm going to go ahead and as with any wall, use the architecture tab and the wall tool to add in my curtain wall. From the drop down box, I'll scroll down and we've got a couple we can choose from here. I'm going to go ahead and use storefront. So I'm going to mouse over this wall here snap it in about 200 away from that left wall left click and I'm going to make this 6600 long now you see here it's come up with an error saying that my highlighted walls overlap because I'm trying to build one wall on top of another wall uh, it gives me a hint here use cut geometry to embed one wall within the other and that's exactly what I'll do so I'll close that down on the modify place wall panel here I've got my cut option choose cut, it says down the bottom here that it wants me to select my first element to be cut so my first element is my brick wall and now I need to select my second element so I'm going to choose that curtain wall and you can see my 3D view it is now cut away from that brick wall and added my curtain wall so go ahead and click modify and rotate my 3D view I can now see straight through that wall into my house the other thing I might want to do is select that curtain wall and you see there I've got my toggle point here if I click and drag that down I can reduce the height of my curtain wall and as I used a cut command uh, it's filled in the top there with my bricks a couple other things we want to do with our curtain wall is it's defaulted there to uh, five panels we might want to come in and change the amount of panels that we have so select that curtain wall over here on the left you can see down here I've got my vertical grid option and my horizontal grid. Now at the moment these numbers are greyed out. To make them editable I'm going to go up to my edit type and you see here there's a lot of different choices I can change. So my vertical grid I can come down here and if I knew the exact spacing I wanted uh, dimension wise I can manually type that in. For example I type 500 here, hit apply you see it's updated on my 3D view and they're all 500mm apart. We could also come to maximum space and click on that change it to fixed number. I'll do the same thing for horizontal grid. Fixed number. Click OK. And over here I can now edit my number. So in this case let's change this one to 2 and I'll change my horizontal grid to 2 as well. And it will update there and now I have two horizontal mullions and two vertical mullions. The other thing I might want to do is change my glass panes. So at the moment I can see straight through my full window. I might want to block out these three bottom ones to give me a little bit more privacy. Let's zoom in a little bit, mouse over part of my storefront and hit tab to rotate through the things that I can select. So in this case it's chosen the panel for me. I'm going to left click to select that and it's selected that one panel. Let's say I want to change these three all at the same time I can right click on that now. On the select panels option here I can choose along vertical or along horizontal. So I'm going to go along and say along horizontal and it's selected those three bottoms. So over here in my properties it's chosen system panel glazed. I can click on that and choose a solid one if I wish and that'll just choose the default solid. But in this case, I'm going to edit type, I'm going to duplicate this type, and I'm going to find a black material to do those in a nice dark black color. Just click OK. Down here on my material, click on that there, and I can go ahead and search for a material that's already in the system or add one myself as per earlier. So for this exercise I'm just going to go ahead and add black wood. Click OK, click OK, deselect that and you can see now that I can no longer see through those bottom three panels of my curtain wall and it is a nice darker black colour. We can also go ahead and change our mullions. So again I'm going to select this one here. Over here on edit type come down to my material and change the material through there. 
you might notice when I select a mullion that it comes up here I could change it but it's greyed out change these you need to come along and select the curtain wall again edit type and down here we can change our mullions so for example if I come into my interior I can make these circular maybe on circular as well apply and that's changed all the interior mullions to a circular mullion and it's left the exterior as my rectangular as I didn't change those so there's a few different options there to customize your curtain wall now we're going to go ahead and add another curtain wall onto the back of our house now I want this to go underneath my top floor here which is overhanging uh, it's a little bit difficult to see so again I'll make that 3D nothing selected over here I will have my section box option click on that choose my section box I'll use top view to help me place it a little bit easier use these control toggles to come in right near the wall Okay, <coughs> zoom in and I'll go back up to my view and tile my windows I want these to swap so I'll click on my floor plan go view tile again and I'll swap them over so to go ahead and draw my curtain wall architecture wall let's remember that I'm using curtain wall storefront and it's also remembered that I'm using number for my grid so I can change those manually so I'm going to go ahead draw in that grid it's going to give me that same arrow that walls overlap so let's discard that use my cut option select the wall select the curtain wall now you can see in this particular case my curtain wall is going all the way up through my floor so I might click that wall and use that control toggle point just to lower it a little bit next thing I want to do is come over to my grids and change that to 2 Oops, change that to 2 as well click apply and I'm not quite happy with how wide I've chosen that curtain wall so I can go ahead over here on my floor plan and choose these toggles here and increase the length of my wall alright so I want to add a door to this curtain wall see here at the moment I've got these mullions right in the way where my door would be so if I click on that one you'll notice this little pin and that's currently locked to prevent or allow any change so if I unpin that I can simply hit delete on my keyboard same with this one up here click on that click the pin to unpin it and hit delete now I still have three separate panels here so to join these together I'm going to click on one of them up here you'll notice it says add or remove segments so I'll click on that and I'm going to click on the segments I want to remove click on this one add and remove segments and remove that segment now if I go over the bottom mullion hit tab to select that glass panel and this is now one complete panel to add a door to this glass panel come over here to my properties and if I already had my door loaded I'd be able to select it there as it is a wall type uh, in this case I need to add it so I'm going to click edit type use the load option here and look for my curtain wall panels folder click on that you can see down here I've got quite a lot of different wall panels I can choose from so I'm going to go ahead and choose curtain wall double glass click on open click on OK and it's added a door to my glass panel here now it automatically shapes that to fit into that size that I've chosen if I click on that I can see over here my height I want to make sure that's an acceptable height to actually walk through and I can also come over here on my floor plan and if I haven't liked the way that these doors open I can choose that to flip so I can go ahead here like I did with my previous curtain wall change some of these panels and change my mullions and also add some materials if I wanted to